Hey guys, this is Jeremy from 70 Productions, and I want to talk to you guys about password security. So if you guys have been watching the news at all, you know that there's this thing called Heartbleed out there that has made a lot of different websites vulnerable to being able to be hacked, that your information could get out there, that people could access your accounts on a variety of different networks. I have five places that you and your ministry need to go out there and to be able to fix your passwords today, right now, during this video. And I want you to then listen at the end where I'm gonna offer you a solution that can prevent all of this from happening again and for you to be able to protect yourself in the future. So if you are a church that has any kind of social media, I don't care about your personal social media right now, though I think you can do exactly the same thing for this. If you have a ministry social media account that people could possibly get your password, go in there and defame you to be able to post anything they want, to be able to have images that have viruses on them, you need to go change your social media password right now. And if you are using some kind of an email client, whether it's uh, Google or whether it's Outlook, all of these have been hit in some way, shape, or form, and so you need to be able to go in there and change your password. I know Microsoft doesn't use SSL, but there's just a common practice to be able to go update your passwords. You need to do that right now. Go make sure that they're updated, that they're very strong passwords, and that you are protecting yourself. A third place that you need to be able to do this is your church's website. So whether you're blogging, whether you're just the church admin for your website, you need to make sure that people can't get into your website to be able to download all your information, to be able to change it as they call web graffiti across your website, to be able to plant stuff that people can collect passwords on your website. So you need to go in there, change your password, make sure things are secure. On top of that, you have church software. I know that there's Church Community Builder, there's a lot of other versions out there. Whatever the case is, doesn't matter the platform, you have so much information on your congregation there. You have names, you have pictures, all this different stuff. So if you have church software, you need to make sure that your password is secure. Go change it right now. I will wait on you. Now that you're not necessarily putting that out there for everybody to see, another option that you need to go with as far as being able to make sure everybody's secure is your banking accounts. If you do any kind of financial transactions online for your ministry, if you tithe online, whatever it is, you need to make sure that all that information is super secure. And so if you have online banking through Chase, Bank of America, any of these different places where you transfer funds, or you're accessing that information on the web, you need to make sure that that is secure, that you are not allowing people to get into your bank account, take your money to be able to have false uh, uh, deposits and transactions going from the congregation that it's working with, really you are leaving yourself open for failure and for being able to be hacked in that, those situations. If you've not done so, please go change your passwords right now. Make sure that they are extremely strong passwords that nobody can guess. And now for the option for you guys to be able to do your software passwords the best that you can, there's a software application called lastpass.com. LastPass allows you to not worry about all the different individual passwords, but keeps it in a secure place on your computer. And so now you're not trying to remember an extremely complicated long password or a hundred different passwords for a hundred different websites that you actually have this one option that will save all the, all the passwords for you. You just need to know the one password for that last pass. And again, that should be still really strong. You should not have a, the password written on a post-it somewhere in your drawer. You should not be using the same password across every single account that you have. This gives you one solution that works with your desktop, it works with iPhone and Android, and it also is an ability for you to be able to share your passwords with everybody. There is an enterprise option for your ministry, for your church. The reality is, is if you're trying to do this old school, you're leaving yourself open, and at that point there's nothing I can do for you. I can't help you once you've been hacked. So if you have any questions on this conversation, if you are really unsure about this process, please hit us up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Um, if you've connected with me directly on Facebook, please contact me that way. I want to be able to help you with this. I know I do consulting for social media blogging. This is not part of that. This is security. You need to have that done. So please contact me. Make sure you have everything done right. 
And from there, we'll go on and we'll try to figure out how to make your ministry great. So please go change your passwords. Do it right. Don't put your congregation or your ministry at risk today. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic of security with passwords. How do you guys do things right? Leave your guys' comments below and we'll talk to you guys next week.